Hi everyone and welcome to this short series on securing fields in ServiceNow. In this video series, we're gonna look at the most common configuration methods for securing field data in the Now platform. My name is Jason Nichols and I've been a trainer at ServiceNow since 2017. This video series is intended for ServiceNow administrators, developers and consultants who have requirements to restrict access to field data, both read and write access. Over the course of the next six videos, we're going to take a look at the following configuration methods. Client scripts, UI policies, view rules, access control rules, data anonymization, and finally, column level encryption. I'm going to give you an overview of each one of these methods, some of which may already be familiar to you, such as UI policies and client scripts, but others such as data anonymization or data privacy, perhaps not so much. Each one of them, however, has specific use cases which we will discuss in each of the videos. These videos serve as an introduction only. There are many resources out there that go much deeper into many of these topics. For example, there are courses on the developer portal of ServiceNow that cover topics such as access control rules and scripting. And there's also an entire learning path on the ServiceNow Vault, a relatively new product offering in the platform that goes into data privacy and encryption. You'll find links to these courses as well as other resources in the descriptions to the respective videos. But apart from these courses, I always strongly recommend that my students practice what they learn in their own personal developer instance of ServiceNow. There's no better way to learn the Now platform than to practice in your own sandbox. And after all, you don't want to be practicing in a customer instance. Finally, this series was produced using the Tokyo version of ServiceNow. Some of the features that we're looking at have been around for many years, but others are relatively new. So without any further ado, let's get started with the first topic.